If I were to ask you what you think the average human body temperature is, you'd probably respond with 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a handy number to know if you're trying to game the thermometer to get out of school, but new studies have uncovered that the real average human body temperature is actually lower than that. And it's dropping. So where does this classic number of 37 degrees Celsius even come from anyway? Well, in 1851, a German doctor named Karl Wunderlich conducted a years-long study. He went room to room in his hospital with a thermometer, taking the temperatures of some 25,000 different patients to try and pin down the average human body temperature. And he did, 17 years later, when he published a paper with that well-known metric of 37 degrees. He also gave us the first quantitative measurement for determining if someone has a fever. 38 degrees and above, that's a fever, baby. And then for the next 140 years, we just accepted this number as correct. Despite the fact that Dr. Wunderlich collected this data using a comically large foot-long wooden thermometer that had to be held in a patient's armpit for 20 minutes. Because believe it or not, portable thermometers small enough to fit under your tongue weren't invented until 1866. So it wasn't until the 1990s that another doctor decided to revisit this question using more modern equipment. And he found that, yeah, the average human body temperature is actually around 36.8 degrees Celsius. And it varies throughout the day, throughout someone's hormonal cycle, throughout someone's lifetime. So determining whether or not someone actually has a fever depends on a lot of different factors, which is pretty important to account for in a clinical setting. And then a 2020 study out of Stanford University took hundreds of thousands of measurements and found that the average body temperature was around 36.4 degrees Celsius. And this made them ask, what if this drop in average temperature isn't entirely due to the difference in thermometer accuracy, but is instead because average human body temperature is actually falling? To answer this question, they embarked on a fascinating research journey that took a historical view of human temperature data in the US. They used huge existing data sets, ones measuring from 1860 to 1940, 1971 to 1975, and 2007 to 2017, to get a sense of how human body temperature may have changed over the past 150 odd years. And each of these groups, after adjusting for age, height, weight, and other variables, show a clear decrease in average temperature over time. There's also a drop between groups as we move from past to present, even with groups where comparable thermometers were used. So it's clearly not just an equipment issue. So what is going on? The researchers hypothesized that this decrease in average body temperature over time could be due to a decrease in resting metabolic rate. Essentially, that's how hard your body is working when at rest. And they also take it one step further, saying this reduction in resting metabolic rate could be due to lowered overall inflammation. See, modern populations typically have lower chronic infection, better dental hygiene, and just generally improved living and hygiene standards. This could be why people in wealthier countries like the US are experiencing this drop in body temperature over time. But there's other data that throws that hypothesis off because another recent study tracked the average body temperature of over 5,000 members of the Chimane, a community in the remote Bolivian rainforest that doesn't have as much access to that modern healthcare that the Stanford study proposed as the potential cause of the temperature drop. And even still, the average Chimani body temperature in 2002 was around 37 degrees Celsius, while the 2020 average was 36.5. So now we have a clearly documented decrease in body temperature in populations that are in very different parts of the world. And we still don't know exactly why. It could still be due to that improvement in healthcare and sanitation that we mentioned already. It could be due to greater temperature control of our surroundings through things like electric fans and air conditioning. 
It could be because people are less active than we were 200 years ago. And get this, some scientists have even suggested that using more antibiotics has reduced our body's microbial diversity so much that it's had an impact on our overall temperature. Like, because we no longer have the heat from all those microbes, we are now colder people, which is totally wild. So there's still lots to explore here. And whatever the reason, the fact remains, no matter how dorky you may feel like you are, humans are getting cooler over time. And speaking of human body temperature, one place you'd really want to keep cool is the Australian outback. Be sure to check out Lightspeed, our new docuseries on an incredible solar car race across the continent. New episodes will be released every Monday through January 4th, and make sure you subscribe to Seeker so you don't miss one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.